Welcome to Rivals Daily. I'm your host, Jack in the Middle. Let's go. We are back here in Racing Rivals. Um, hello again. I'm your man, Jack, in the middle. Um, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Um, so what's going on in Racing Rivals? Well, we know Turf Wars have been upon us, and we've been talking about Turf Wars all week. But we have bronze crates on sale. So you know it's my time to shine. I do everything on a sale. I do everything on a budget. Okay, so uh, what they got? The Ford Celica, 75 Toyota Celica, and um, the 2000 GT. And I guess it's the, it is called the Celica 2000 GT. All right, forgive me. All right, guys, before we continue, I'd like you guys to open the description of the video and hook up with me on one of my social media sites. Um, I'm Jack in the Middle, Jay Godfrey over there on Facebook. I'm Jack in the Middle on Instagram and on Twitter. And, you know, I'm here to help you guys with sales. I'm here to be help you, um, you know, be a middleman for you if you need a middleman. I'm here to um, to hook up, help you hook up with other racers that might be trying to sell things. All right. So um, that's primarily why I decided to start doing videos. And um, so I, I want to keep reminding myself. I, I get carried away. I get um, into making videos for you guys i'm starting to like this side of it you know just making videos for you guys and um you know i'm just just being inter being an entertainer for you guys you know so I, i'm really starting to like that i'm really starting to get into that but i need to remind myself really why i started doing this and it's to help you guys play this game safer you know racing rivals has been around for a while and it has burnt out a lot of people and um, I'm here still, I'm surviving, and um, I'm seeing a lot of young people come into the game. Now, I guess what's been happening is Racing Rivals is kind of becoming a generational thing right now. It hasn't been that long enough to be to say it's really a generational thing. It's been around since about uh, 2013. So that's quite some time. That's what, five years now going on? Racing Rivals been out there? And um, so you can imagine a lot of people have passed through the doors and I guess the older players have kind of made, made, made it kind of like a cult thing, you know, like a, a cult following to be a part of Racing Rivals. And um, and you, your younger generation is kind of like grab on to that. It's like, hey, that's cool, you know, to, to get on here and to, um, to be a man and to, you know, to show that you can race and whatnot. But um. So you guys have been getting in, getting into it, and I just want to keep you guys going. So hook up with me on social media so I could keep you guys, hold you guys' hand if you need a hand, and keep you going. All right. Um, so we are going to open up some crates today, but one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, transfer a few cars so we could get the garage looking like a place where we want to be. Now we are going to speed it up, but I just wanted you guys to hear the sound of this first car here. And uh, it, it's, I don't, I don't even know. I don't want to disrespect the car. It's a beautiful car. It's a car I got from a friend, the RX3. And um, you know, I, I just decided. Let me let me let you guys hear the sound of that car right there. So here we're transferring our Rivals Edition MR2. All right, going through that. And um, up next is the Dodge, Dodge Charger Street Edition. Sorry, the island guy coming out. All right, and um, so we're gonna get rid of that one here also. Yeah, guys, so um, you know, pretty much we, we're gonna do 10 turf cars. And I decided to transfer, my, my garage is looking crazy. The game has been very generous, been getting a lot of cars from crates and whatnot. The crates go on sale like this, and uh, you know, I take advantage of it. So I have quite a few cars and so I said in honor of opening some turf crates, let me transfer some turf cars out of my garage that really don't need to be here because they're not dressed as yet. Not all of them. Some of them are and they're really not in the place where they need to be. So right now we're um, transferring the AMC Rambler. Right. And um, you know, so, um, so just, I just want to tell you guys I appreciate you up next Nissan Nismo GTR here. 
um you know just want to let you guys know i appreciate you all and, and um you know thank you all for hanging out with me thank you for making the channel a success and and whatnot you know but um like i said the, the reason i want you guys to hook up with me on social media i'm here more for being family for you guys you know to help you get along in racing rivals to help you move along in racing rivals yeah, racing rivals is a tough place and some of you guys are tough guys you don't need it all right so if, if, if you're a tough guy and you don't need it then um you know that's okay you you could you could do it but a few of us are going to like having friends and like being friendly and i like to keep it friendly it doesn't have to be you know all about being a rival and being competition all the time all right so, um, so again, I appreciate you guys being here with me. Uh, you guys made it this far. Please go ahead and smash the like button. And uh, so we're halfway through this. And, um, you know, we're just going to um, finish out a few more cars. I think we're about at the fifth car right now. Fifth car, six cars. As a matter of fact, this might be the uh, eighth car on the list. Yeah, I believe this is the eighth car. So we're almost done. One more car and we're done. We'll go ahead and we'll check out some crates. And then um, I will show you guys at the end of the video, I'll wrap up by showing you guys the three cars that I am, have been tuning for Turf Wars this weekend. Now, um, I did actually make a video before. So this is really like my second attempt, you know, if, if you want to call it that, making a video. Um, it, it's probably more attempts than that, but let's just call it second real attempt at making the video for you guys the first one went on so long that it crashed so um i had to remake it but i think you know all good things come to those who wait <laughs> you know, i don't think that's the way it that's what i was really trying to say but you know basically worked out for the best in the end anyways all right so this is going to be the last one here before we head over and open up some crates um pretty much you guys saw in the in the last video, if you were paying attention, I had a lot more gems than this. So you can see I actually opened crates, a lot of crates in the first video that didn't make it. So I decided, all right, you know what? The um the way the way uh, I don't want to speak bad about carbonated, or I don't want to speak bad about our game, but the way the game is, you know, it um it, it doesn't really give you what you need. And as a matter of fact, it still didn't give me exactly what I needed at the end of this. But can't complain i got something so you see the inventory is full because i did make a run at it several times before and um decided to come back and complete a few blueprints because um they, they were lacking on a few blueprints so um so here we go but then all right so this run we still basically what's missing is the sylvia we didn't get the sylvia i was really hoping to get that sylvia there and the Sylvia, the funny thing is the Sylvia is not even a blueprint car. It's just a free car, but, it, it, you know, heaven help us if we could get it. So um, we're in here. Um, we got the Alfa Romeo. You can see we've got quite a few of them. And um, we got the Celica. we got quite a few of those also. And um, and then we did get the also the last one to come up, I believe, is going to be the Falcon to pop up. Uh, so, um, but basically what I'm complaining about, you you see that they, they, at first they don't give you any blueprints and then they shower you with blueprints and then they don't complete the blueprints. So you're always stuck in your inventory with all these blueprints that are like halfway finished or whatnot, you know? So that's just racing rivals for you. All right, but, um, so I'm not going to bother you guys with clearing out the inventory on this video. So up next, I'm just going to take you guys in and show off basically the cars that I do plan to use for turf. Up first is the Ford Focus Titanium. All right, and, um, and as promised, I'm showing you guys still shots as opposed to swiveling the car because it, it just um, completely doesn't render properly on the video when you um, when you try to you know turn the car like a, like a turntable or whatever. So you, um, this, I find the still shots are working out better. All right, and then we have the Honda S2000, the CR. And um, so this is pretty much it, guys. I, again, if you guys have made it this far, you know, um, please consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. And I just want to thank everybody, all the old people that are still with me, still watch my videos, still come by and like the videos and still give me some support. All right, um, so that's pretty much it. 
I might as well go ahead and start working on the other video so that I could get these videos out to you a timely fashion. My, my real, my goal is to get you these videos earlier in the day instead of late at night how they have been. So we're going to have to work on that. All right. So this is pretty much the end of it. And um, I want to thank you guys again for being here with me. All right. Um, nothing else to say. Again, you know, check out Jack in the Middle Live. That's my, sub, my channel for live streaming. And um, find me at one of my social media sites. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.